to finish our quest. Redneck Archaeology. Oh, hi, I'm the Redneck Archaeologist, Jackson Burns, and uh, on this series, we're going after, once again, the lost and buried, long ago, Twin Sisters Cannons. We'll go into the story a little bit now. A lot of GU-11s in the air. Yeah, we're at the San Jacinto Battleground today. I'm sitting here on a replica of one of the Twin Sisters. Twin Sisters were two cannons donated to the Republic of Texas by the people of Cincinnati, Ohio. And these are only replicas because nobody's sure exactly what they look like. Cannons are called the Twin Sisters because when Dr. Rice smuggled them down from Cincinnati because the United States was neutral and didn't want to become part of the Texas, or didn't support the Texas Revolution. They smuggled them down the Mississippi into New Orleans, and then from New Orleans they were transported to another ship and brought into Galveston Bay. They only made it here about three or four days before the battle, so they didn't have any cannonballs for them. So what they had to use is what's called grape shot. They took musket balls, pieces of chain, broken glass, and that gave them about a 200 yard range, which was enough to uh, to scare the uh, the Mexicans whenever they started firing like two big old shotguns, you know, just blast a bunch of stuff out there and people started falling, you know. And whenever they were at the Port of Galveston, they got the names because they came with his two daughters, Eleanor and Elizabeth. So they had the twin sisters, Eleanor and Elizabeth and the twin sister cannons. And they only made it to the battleground about three or four days before 